Hey guys, Neil here, and in this video I wanted to share a quick tip on how you can find royalty-free images to use in your projects using Google Search. Now the very first thing, rule number one, never go to Google and just search for an image, grab the first one you like the look of and use it in your projects. You could be infringing copyright and looking for a huge find somewhere along the line. Uh, so we don't want that, and there is a way that you can find great images that you are allowed to use via Google. Now, I've already shared tons of great resources with you on where to get royalty-free stock images, but let's dive into this tip and show you how you can grab them from Google. So for this example, we're just going to use cats as an example because obviously around Facebook, there's tons of memes that use images of cats and pets and dogs and stuff like that. So we're just going to use cats and uh, then we're going to click images and you'll see there's a ton of images. Now, as I've said, you could grab one of these and use it and end up in a whole heap of trouble. So you don't want that. What you wanna do is head over to settings, then click advanced search, and then scroll to the option at the bottom that says usage rights. Click on the drop down and select the very last option, which is free to use, share or modify, even commercially, and then click advanced search. Now, all of these images you're being presented with, you are free to do with as you wish. You can even include them in commercial projects that you're being paid for. Um, now, obviously that was just cats. This will work for anything at all. So if we were looking for a background, you know, say an opaque background that's gonna have a color overlay on a web page, let's say desk, then this is the same process. And you can also search by size. So obviously as a background image, we'd want it larger. So if we just click on size and go to large, then it'll present us with just the large versions of the images. You can see there are some great images of desks. There are also some not so great images, but there's some pretty cool uh, images there. Some of which will have actually be on the resources that I've already given you. Okay, as I've said, you can use this for any phrase whatsoever regardless of the subject matter. Okay, so that's it. I hope you like this tip. And with that said, have a great day and I'll catch you in another video soon.